As a content creator and a voice actor, I value two things in headphones. First is the close to reference sound signature. And second is comfort, which is important considering the long hours I spend editing and voice acting. And premium sound quality does not come with a premium price tag. And not everyone has $200 to spend on a pair of headphones. Which is why Miscat Squad is collaborating with Massdrop to bring you guys the new EMU Purple Beats headphones. Massdrop has made a serious name for themselves by collaborating with some of the best known companies and offering more premium products and a more affordable price point. They've teamed up with EMU Systems to launch the Purple Heart headphones, which are available for $75. Let's start with the design. It looks simple, and they've added a few touches here and there to visually stand out. The ear cups are crafted in this beautiful purple heart finish, and aesthetically, they look and feel awesome. The soft protein leather ear pads have plenty of cushioning to prevent your ears from making contact with the drivers. And throughout my test period, it was a comfortable experience. Now to the best part about these headphones, the sound quality. They blew away my expectations for a pair of headphones that cost under $80. I was also able to notice the details in certain tracks, and it blended really well with the wonderful sound stage. And given the design, they do block surroundings fairly well. So to conclude, the Purple Hearts by Massdrop and EMU have pleasantly surprised me in every single way. The simple design and the lightweight structures impressed me from day one. I was impressed the moment I started to listen to music on these. I wasn't expecting for $75 that the sound stage would be this excellent for different genres. And I think this would be a perfect pair for anyone who's looking for an entry point into the world of high-end headphones that are perfect anywhere you use them. And you could check it out through the link posted in the description down below. Hope you enjoy, guys! Hello heroes and welcome back to Miss Cat Squad, the geeky and let's play talk show that's all about you guys guessed it, geeky goodness and video games. And guys, today we are reacting to more Overwatch goodness in the react room and my beanbags and I, we are ready to chillax, sit back and just react to what is the goodness, what is up the goodness of Overwatch. Now, I for one have been part of the Overwatch fandom for a very short while now, but for, to tell you the truth, I feel like I've been part of it for years because of how welcoming you guys were to me when I first joined up and it's amazing to be part of something that is like, you know, bigger than yourself and this, this series makes me feel like I am a hero, like this series really makes me feel as if I can go within the Overwatch series and be like, Hello! I am part of this fandom! I am part of this family and I cannot wait to hang out with the characters. Because that's the thing. That's exactly what it is. The characters are what make this series so original, so amazing, so gorgeous. Because you can kind of, in a way, take away something from these characters. You can relate to them, in a sense. And also, you can feel as if they're your friends. And that's what I love the Overwatch series. Because again, I'm always talking about humbleness and heart and everything that this series as have it teaches us that we are somebody's we're not nobody's we can always be a hero we can you could be my hero I could be yours anyone out there could be your hero but you can also be your own hero that's another strength that it does teach us that we can always be sure to be brave be sure to be courageous never give up when like when the tough gets going you gotta get tougher you gotta you know shape and sharpen yourself and your skills and everything hone your craft and keep working no matter what you gotta just work on yourself and better yourself and this is my advice for you guys today. Never give up on something that you love. Never ever. It's gonna take a while. You know, your dreams may take a while to come true, but the thing is what Overwatch does se seriously does remind us is that we have to be heroes. We are heroes in ourselves and our dreams and our friends and anyone that counts on us is looking out for us. And what makes me upset is how with Winston and everybody, how people treated them. They treat them like they are in the misfits. See, that's the thing. This is why this series fits in so perfectly with Miscat Squad and why I can't wait to do even more Overwatch content. It's because we are the misfits of the world. There are misfits out there all over the place, in every different fandom, outside of fandoms, in school, at work. And why Overwatch really is so amazing is because it teaches us and gives us these amazing reminders that we need to take care of the misfits and the rebels and everybody out there. Because when we come together, we ourselves become stronger. We ourselves become an amazing community. And that's what Overwatch does. They are misfits, each one of them. They, look how society treats them. Society treats them like they are criminals. And by far they are not, they are heroes 
those who want to make a difference in this world. And that, my friends, is what Miss Cat Squad stands for. But anyway, guys, we are today, we're reacting to Honor and Glory. And a lot of you guys have been saying, Cat, I can't wait to see your reaction to this. And I'm like, I wonder why. Because each and every single one of the Overwatch shorts has either made me scream, cry, and get, or completely hyped about each and one of the, every single one of the scenes of the characters. <sighs> End quote. But yeah, let's get reacting because I can't wait to see what the hype is about over this short. Ready to tea for teen. Ooh. The the scenery, guys. It's the scene. The scenery is just ah. Oh. Winston's message wasn't meant for you. This hmm? isn't your fight. Papa told me, after so many years of service, you gave Overwatch everything, and then Aww. they pushed you out. Why would you go back to them? What are you still Ooh. So, that's it. You're leaving us. I have been called. I must answer. It so is a cool. great honor. Uh, to disappear into some secret organization. Give up the glory of being so a crusader? Big. The big boy. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> uh, he wishes he got picked. <laughs> He's such a big boy. Ah, the crusaders are immortal defenders of Germany. People will be singing songs about our legacies. Our legacies are our deeds. And this war is bigger than all of us. Oh God! Right, people, they're playing our song. Go Stay with your dance partners. <laughs> Crush those rust buckets. His dialogue is by far amazing. Old man. <laughs> <laughs> Live with honor. <laughs> Die with glory. With glory. Die. <laughs> we work as one. Fire! Ooh. Shut up, me! Down! The down! Holy oh, crap! He's, he's loving it. He's absolutely loving it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love the wind in my hair. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Ah, they're just slowing me down. <laughs> he's fine. loving every single moment of this. He's mine! He wants it. <laughs> Damn it, Reinhardt! He's going off the rails right now. You don't just jump. You don't lunge into a fight. You don't do that. Oh, God. <laughs> Reinhardt! Mom, go sing! Oh, cool. I love the armor he's on this. Oh! Fall back to the rally point. I'll get right now. Oh. 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 No. Good job. I had this. Obviously. <laughs> the eye is Let's rushing move. blood. Can we all just go along? Why? Go, 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 get it, get it. Slide it. Barricade it. We're good. That door won't hold. Oh no. Okay, there Get back good. to the unit. Oh no, he's not, he's not good, he's not good. And let you have all the glory? <laughs> we will fight our way back oh, together. No. no. I'm staying here. What? But I. Without you, Lieutenant, oh. you took an oath to be a crusader. Now, keep it. Oh, God. I... I won't leave you! Oh. The team needs you. Be their shield. Oh. 
Live with honor. God. And they honored him. I have been called. <laughs> I must answer. Always. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. We have a lot to talk about. Alright, so. He went in, you know, he had a big, like, you have to admit, he did have a big ego. Like, he was all like, oh, I wanted to go in, I want to fight, I'll take him, I'll take him out. And, oh, this humble, this experience humbled him. You know, he lost his friend, he lost, when he said that he's nothing without him, like, oh my god. But what got to me is this represents how even if you are on your last whims, even if you feel like you can't fight anymore, you get out there and you fight. You get out there and you you do whatever it takes to make sure that you die honorably and out of glory because even if you feel like you have to give up. And this is why I love this series, because it gives us reminders like this. Yeah, they may be fictional characters, but look how, look how amazing, you know, look how amazing this is. I'm see Mr. Microphone agrees, but they are telling us and showing us that we need to be strong and we need to, no matter what, don't ever give up the fight. Tough things happen, you know, life happens. Life isn't fair. And this was not fair. And war happens. And war's not good. Like, it's it's sad that this still happens today and that people just can't get along and people just can't see to each other's sides. There always has to be some kind of war with between each other. And you saw how torn he was, you know, like at the end, he's like, I've been called, I have to go. He always has to go. And that's the like, in, his, in his mind how much he must be going through, you know? Like, if you're going through this in real life, if you are, like in the military or anything or any type of branch like that i i honor you and bless you for being able to fight like this and put your life on the line like this because you sacrifice so much out of the goodness of your heart to protect people and this is what this short does represent and i'm sure a lot of people do appreciate that this character exists within this fandom because <sighs> More things need like, like more things need this. More things, more fandoms, more series, more games in general need this. 
when he said I'm nothing with like oh you don't do that you don't and then at the end he had there was like the shrine and everything I've been called I have to like the simplicity in the dialogue okay the simplicity in the dialogue is so human. It's so it's not overly flashy. It's not shoved in your face. It's not forced. It's not shocked reactions. It's not this, it's not that. It is truthfully so simple and so human. And even though these characters go through like kind of like situations that hopefully will never happen in real life, even though Overwatch would be cool and I would love to be a part of that. But like the, it's so simple. It is so, so simple. And this is why I love the series because it's like, it captures the heart right away. It's not in your face. It's not like, oh, you have to love these characters. It's not forcing you to do anything. It is just so much humbleness and heart. And I keep saying that in every single episode because every single short I have seen captures that. Captures this. And it's beautiful. And more series can learn from Overwatch. So many people can learn from this. And I've heard a lot of you guys saying that the fandom overall, there's a lot of toxicity that goes in. There's so much toxicness that may go in within this fandom. But you know what? I want to shine a light on this fandom because it deserves so much. And yeah, there may be disagreements. Yeah, if you're playing the multiplayer game with each other and like you're attacking each other because you did something wrong or like your teammate didn't, you know, do what you wanted them to do. Don't. Don't treat people with, like, hatred or anything. Like, don't do that. Because it's not worth it. There's so much bad in the world. And I want to be able to shine a light on this fandom. Because it has given so much to so many people out there. And it has taught us that we need to be heroes in ourselves. And if you're a misfit, if you're somebody who is, like, a war hero, you can be accepted. And you should be treated with honor and glory. You should be treated with respect. And that's why I want to be able to shine a light on this series, because it deserves it. It deserves it so much. So right now, I want you all to just answer a question for me. What did you love about this short? What did you really love about it? Because it... It represents so much. And if you've been through war, I honor you. If you've been... Through anything like this, I honor you. Or if you're considering, and you're young, and you're considering to do this, I honor you. Because you are sacrificing so much to protect people. Not just yourselves. And that is one of the most humbling things anyone can do. So I want to take this time and I want to dedicate this episode to all like the veterans out there. All the people who are police officers. Everybody who does a job like this. Who puts their life on the line every single day for us to make sure that we are all safe. And I want to dedicate this episode to them. And any of you considering joining like the Marines or the Navy or the military, I, I, I dedicate this episode to you. Because you deserve the love and you deserve the support. Ah, This makes you think about life, you know? How it could have been different, you know? How, how it could have overly been different if... Maybe if he didn't charge in like that and, you know, didn't go like how he was, maybe it would have been different. But that's why it's important how this humbled him. And you saw how it humbled him. Like, from the beginning, you saw that he is war-torn and hurt. And then at the end, you saw how war-torn and hurt he actually was, saying, like, I've been called. I must do this. And, whew. This is such a great experience, and I'm glad I am experiencing this with you guys on Miss Cat Squad. But anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you want more Overwatch content. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up, and also don't forget to hit the bell notification, because if you don't, you'll miss episodes on Miss Cat Squad. But anyway, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. You stay safe out there. And as always, Miss Cats, until the next video, embrace your own fangirl, and your own fanboy every single day.